And an update on that man that died in police custody earlier this week. We broke the news on WOWT.com. A major disturbance in a Bellevue neighborhood. Cop cars all over in the area of 22nd and Van Buren Wednesday night. And when the dust settled, we learned that Alex Zuka had died. That led to a slew of officers going on leave. The officers you see here on your screen all put on paid administrative leave as part of police protocol. Zuka died in custody after being tased by one of the officers. Well, the family tells us that they don't believe the police did anything wrong, but a tough picture was painted in the days that followed. It was reported that he was yelling, trying to force his way into his grandmother's house. Tonight, his family says there's two sides to every story, and while they don't say he was in the right, they wanted to share that they knew a different side of him. It turns out Zuka left behind three kids, but had battled addiction for years, addictions that haunted him. The family released a statement that read in part, Quote, he loved his family and lived for his three beautiful daughters and caring wife. He was a loving husband and father. His family meant the world to him. The family has set up a college trust for his three young children, the oldest, just 11 years old. We have more information on how you can donate, and you can also read the complete statement from the Zuka family online.